Today, we will be covering the topic of making a review of related literature, which is one of the most important skills in research. Build up your mojo. I find it best to think when I turn on some alternative music like that of Goo Goo Dolls and Simple Plan because 90s. The first thing that I do is to summarize all the literature. This is a table that I typically use in my summary, which was shared to me by one of my closest colleagues. And you can have your own variation to the table or make your own. The sample topic I am doing today is one of the fields we are trying to demystify right now in BIPSU which is research in creative works as requested by the School of Teacher Education. I am just playing with keywords right here and all the questions that I want to answer about the topic. So I am trying to find out the process of applying for a copyright for dance moves. I am opening all the articles which I think will prove useful. I have already opened several journal articles and ebooks, both in Science Direct and Google Scholar respectively. Now I am trying to skim through the articles. Based on experience, to finish a proposal for external granting in 3 to 5 months, the timeline is to do a literature review for 2 to 3 months with 15 to 20 literatures per day. This will generate a 2 to 3 page review of related literature. But for theses or dissertation studies, there are some suggested standards and timeline online on the number of literature per page or the number per study, but nothing is really set in stone. I am now writing the summary details of all the articles I am reading. We have found that doing so increases organization by preventing the inefficiency of having to look for the article again online because your browser suddenly closed or there is an unexpected update. And it also helps increase retention of all the information you are reading. Now I am trying to break down all the information I have read into themes to organize them. So I have one article broken down into several themes. The numbering tells me which source the information has been taken from. So we are reading all the other articles. Now in the themes, these are usually the topics that are relevant to my discussion later on and gives me the flow of the RRL I am creating.
Now we will be generating or writing a review of related literature. We do this by paraphrasing the articles we have summarized and of course, adding our own ideas. I always find it saves time to put the source right away in the in-text citation so that we prevent any unintentional plagiarism. Remember to follow the formatting of the prescribed authority required, be it AMA, APA, CMS, MLA, or your in-house format. As a habit, we will now be checking for plagiarism or similarity. As expected, there is no plagiarism found in the topic we just did. Now let us compare it to the summary we have wherein we just cut and pasted the content. As expected, we can see that there is significant plagiarism found. Be sure to check our video on the recommended free plagiarism software for Beepsu.